didn't work. This is what it looks like when our basement is flooding. Can you check it out? We got um, all the water coming down from the sink there and going into our drain. Look how full that sink is. I should turn off the washing machine. The problem is we have our comforter in the washing machine right now. It's my first time ever washing it. Um, but I got one that's washable specifically so that we could wash it. And Loki puked all over it about half an hour ago. So I was like, that's it. I'm washing it. Kind of scared you, but you're supposed to be able to. And uh, so we kind of still need this load to still happen, even though our basement's flooding. Because otherwise we don't have anything warm to sleep on tonight. And good news is I got my laundry baskets. They're flexible. They're cool. Um, but they don't make up for our basement flooding. Um, someone mentioned a nylon sock thing, stocking over the hose. I think that's a great idea. Um, another person mentioned cleaning out the J-trap, which I was planning to do, like eventually get around to it, but water flows really well when the sink trap basket thing is cleaned out. So I'm not sure that's the problem, but there's a couple other things that we can try. But yeah, check out the flooding. It's fun. We, I, was, I was upstairs sitting here at Loki, and Lim went into the kitchen to make some nachos. He was just like, I hear water! And I was like, oh man, is our basement flooding again? So that's just uh, our current reality. <laughs> um, okay, and real quick. Lynn was like, hey, Heidi did a basement tour, and like, and I was like, wait, 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 I haven't shared everything. So, while I have you guys on, I wasn't planning on doing a video quite yet, but this happened again, and I figured I'd update you all. Um, let me show you something real quick. I can't, I need a light. Hmm. Let me get a light. Hang on. All right, I'm still recording. I want to show them the crawl space real quick. Um, I need a light. Oh. Yeah. Um, what light would you recommend? Is it? Nice! Yeah. So, Did I you hear that? Playing the, with Loki with it. Okay. So this light, this flashlight here, I got it for Lim as a Christmas present. It was $2.77. And I was kind of scared that it wouldn't be a decent flashlight, but apparently it is. Okay, so, heading back downstairs. So, I, I want to show you the crawl space. So, our house is weird. It is half basement, down here, down in the, I'm in the basement, half basement, half crawl space. So, you go down the stairs, and just to the side of the stairs here, um, where these panels are, those that's the crawl space. We don't have any lights over in this area. There are no lights, it makes it more fun. There's the bottom of the stairs, and this, this is our crawl space. So, you climb on in, we have some steps here, and I just wanna show you, we got all this. So it's supposed to be cement. We have a couple things stored there. It's spooky, spooky story time this crawl space when we first moved in was full hang on oh, sorry let me get this story right okay it's time it's spooky story time <laughs> I can't do it I can't this crawl space was awful it was full of rubble which was rocks uh, broken up concrete, a lot and a lot of cat poop, broken glass, nails, a few pennies. I got a few pennies. I kept them. And I did a lot of work, and my mom also did a lot of work on it. So you've got some nice concrete here. That's a flashlight, it doesn't work. I gotta get rid of it. Uh, some concrete here, and then it gets more broken up here. And then as you go back, it gets worse and worse until you all the way back here. See that? That's awful. And you all the way back here. 
and there's no concrete at all. Now, normally, this wouldn't really matter because it's, it's actually really nice for pulp space. You know, I can, uh, I, I only have to like stoop over this much. I mean, to be able to stand up in a crawl space is actually pretty good, but, um, but it was gross. So it took us a lot of hours to clean it up. And I wanted to use it for storage. I was like, we have our own integrated storage space. This is amazing. And uh, the problem is um, we, we have radon. We have a radon problem down here. Spokane is one of the worst spots in the nation for radon gas in homes. Uh, Coeur d'Alene, which is 20 minutes away, is the worst. So, uh, oh hey, Lim and Loki are here. I was giving them a tour of our crawl space. Whoa. Ah, come say hi. Uh, I was sharing scary story time about radon and cat poop and broken glass down here. It's been great. Great. <laughs> Aww. So yeah, radon is, um, oh, you guys are heading out? Yeah. All right. Okay, so radon gas um, is radio radioactive. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Must be the radon. So radon is radioactive and it can cause like lung cancer and contribute to asthma and that kind of a thing. Um, any level above four, I don't know like what type of four, but it's four something, any level above that is considered hazardous. Our radon was tested and it was 33. <laughs> so many times over the hazardous level that's considered not safe to live in. Now that was tested, I'm pretty sure in our basement so you're supposed to test it on the lowest like living level that you'll be spending a lot of time in. But still, it should be taken care of. Mitigating the place where radon is gonna take a few thousand dollars. Um, and the big deal was that our crawl space isn't fully cement. But at least it's clean. I can sit down. I can sit down in here, it's great. Um, eventually, I would love to have like storage bins in here and like like it be like our own personal storage unit i'm really excited about that um but in the meantime it's got nothing Ugh. i'm getting out of here <laughs> this is the aftermath and it's blood all right let me show you people don't believe me that it's this sink trap The water isn't draining, it's like, it's like it's plugged, like even now. I was asking my mom the other day, how do normal people do this? Like how did, no one else has this problem? Like what's the typical setup? I don't know, it never occurred to me to ask, how do normal people like take care of their laundry water? I wonder if it's in the hose. If the sink had that much buildup, maybe the hose does too. I don't know. For instance, then. Start. This is how it's supposed to work. I cleaned out the trap. That's our washing machine trying to walk everywhere. It's alive. Um, so I cleaned it out and it is draining. So I don't think it's the J trap. But it just has problems still. So, to be continued, I guess. <laughs>